give it a little pull. My Uber's here. <laughs> yeah, it smells like fossil fuels. Nice. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Good. Kind of waking up. How about you? You're acting up. You're acting up. <laughs> the two in there are acting up. The only one that's worth a <laughs> is the Infinity, <laughs> your Jeep, <laughs> all the new stuff. So be ready to be uh, running 5,000 RPM at 55 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour. I love it. <laughs> Hi right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So, Omar and I, what's up, man? we finally made it to the uh, Detail Garage. Uh, I guess it's like a little cars and coffee. Uh, I want to check it out, really, because I want to check out the Detail Garage, see what kind of cleaning supplies they've got. So far, there's like four people here. It's a big turnout. So, <laughs> and I think we might have one of the coolest cars here. By we, I mean Omar. <laughs> so, anyways, see some stuff pulling up. Let me show you guys. There's the Detail Garage storefront some kind of uh i don't know what that orange car is a little super pulling up so yeah wait for some more people to pull up there's a viper behind us and we'll see what uh see what we find garage as you can see they literally have everything you need to clean and detail your car uh, me personally I'm not a big huge detail guy I'd normally just pay somebody to do it because it seems like a lot of work and I'm here in here walking around and there's so many different kinds of microfibers and cloths and washes and brushes I mean I know like detail they even got some old Atari games here it's pretty cool here's some waxes and polishes and I guess they teach you how to run through all the steps be cool to learn and I really like this is not it I'll grab this right here I really like these scents that they have this one smells really good they told me that they had to rename it because it was called the uh, stripper scent but it smells really good GPS you hear that putting on the GPS because we're heading back home <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's the Detail Garage, uh, first car meet ever. They actually brought out a uh, Round Rock Donuts, they brought out Starbucks coffee for us. Pretty cool, but I think the coolest part was a 22% off. And I got some of that uh, Smells Like Success spray. So I'm kind of really into like fresh smells, like especially in my vehicles. And the Challenger really smells like, like Ashley calls it, uh, global warming. So I just wanted to smell fresh in there. So I got a good spray for that. All right, guys. Peace out. So yeah, let's get home. Let's, uh, let's do it. Well, yeah, we're also gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some filming later, right, Omar? Yeah, let's do it, man. It'll be fun. All right. So we're gonna do some filming, some some TikToking. Look at this guy. He's like, yeah, burn out. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna. Uh, so when we get home, we're gonna do. guys it's the uh, next day and I didn't really explain why I didn't take the Challenger to the diesel garage car meet and that's because I drove it the day prior and it was kind of overheating actually the temp gauge was kind of all over the place uh, normally the car runs kind of three quarters of the way on the water temp and in about four miles it shot all the way to three quarters of the way and it was running really hot so i changed the parameters in the dash to show me the oil temp and i was watching the gauge and they were both increasing at about two to four degrees 
uh, as I would accelerate between 70 and 75 and even up to 80 and back down to 70. Um, after the fact, uh, the temp would go back down to about you know, a quarter of the way and then back up to halfway and then down in between that. So it was just all over the place. So I decided let's not take the Challenger that far and find out what's wrong with it. So hopefully it's just a thermostat. Worst case scenario would be a water pump, but in the car's defense, the water pump is the factory one. So if it was going out, I wouldn't be too upset. So anyways, let's dig in. All right, guys, I just finished boiling this thing for uh, the better half of about 15 minutes. As you can see, it did not open, which means this thermostat is stuck, especially because this is a 180 and water boils at about 212 degrees or 100 degrees Celsius. And at 212 degrees minimum, this thing did not even open. So that means it's bad, which means it's an easy fix for you, buddy. All right, so that's good news for me. That just means that I need to replace the thermostat and not the entire water pump. And I think I have plenty of Xerix G05 coolant, which is what the car calls for. And I'll just have to uh, top that off, place the thermostat, and we'll go for a quick test drive. All right, guys, so we're back here at the uh, grip house. And I forgot to mention that the thermostat that I had in there, which is this one, the bad one, I'm just going to move it over here because we don't want to confuse them, uh, was a Murray brand, which is this brand right here. And it was a 180 degree T-stat. So I just went to AutoZone, uh, O'Reilly's, and Discount, and they didn't have a 180 T-stat. And O'Reilly's was the only one that had the OE spec thermostat. So I went ahead and got this OE spec thermostat. There's really not a huge difference in how the car runs, so it's not gonna be too big of a deal. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the car and go for a little test drive. That's fixed. <laughs> when I did that big pull, I <laughs> I guess I broke my record. I don't know if it resets if you unplug the battery, but I did 12, three and a quarter miles. So not bad. That kind of makes me want to take the car back out to the drag strip, which I haven't done in a really long time. Um, but yeah, I guess you could say that the car is fixed thank god it was just a 20 dollar part and not a freaking water pump which in all honesty would have been like a 40 dollar pump and maybe like 60 bucks in fluid but still i hate when something simple goes down with the car and then i can't enjoy it um so yeah let me get out of here all right guys i don't want to bore you anymore that's going to wrap up today's video quick fix get the challenger uh fluids all changed up got a couple car shows trying to get to super lap battle car show portion no racing this year get into that explanation later um and finish up the jeep that i'm leaning on later this week we're going to go on our camping trip at wolf's caves adventure park do some rock crawling with my friend brian in his 
Jeep Gladiator. I'm not sure if Omar's coming or not. I forgot to ask him that yesterday, but you might see Omar out there as well in his Jeep. So, yep, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys like these videos, hit that like button, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, peace out.